The sociology and anthropology department is a very dynamic, fast moving, fast forward looking, uh, exciting place to be, to work. Uh, we have faculty from all over the world. Of course we have faculty from Kazakhstan, but we also have faculty from Russia, from Ireland, from the United Kingdom, from America, from Canada. And we really cover all sorts of different angles in our courses. We have sort of quite standard courses. We have courses on some social movements, social change, crime, criminology, sexuality and gender. We also have maybe more unusual topics such as cannibalism. Uh, we look at nomads in world history. We look at primate behavior and also things that we might consider more specific or local to Central Asia, such as Islam and identity. Um, so we f cover a full sort of range looking at all sorts of aspects of the ways in which we live together in societies as human beings. What would you advise to students pursuing studies in sociology? Uh, well, first of all, I would say that even though you're studying sociology, your entire life is not limited to sociology. So I would encourage any students and sociology majors as well to take as many classes as possible. It's great that here we have a variety of classes and um, it's, it's, it's beneficial for you guys because it's, you can develop different skills. So speaking from experience, I took a lot of literature classes and those really greatly contributed to my writing skills, which are important not only for sociology, but just in general, when you go to the job market, um, you, you, you need writing skills, you need presentation skills. Um, and my second advice would be to get out of the classroom as much as possible, uh, to really take the knowledge that you get in the classroom and apply it in the real world uh, because much of learning happens outside of the classroom rather than inside the classroom and you know try to find internships try to find people who inspire you maybe shadow them for a day uh, try to talk to different people and how they are using their knowledge and you know get your hands dirty and that's how you learn that's how yeah learning happens and what are the career opportunities for sociology along? Um, really, I think sociologists can do anything, <laughs> but um, in, in experience of other alumni, I can say that uh, sociologists, sociology students, sociology majors can be working as journalists, and we have um, stu one student who works for Radio Liberty, Radio Free Europe in Prague. Um, we have other sociology students who also work as journalists for other uh, media outlets. Um, we have people who work in uh, marketing or doing sociological research, but I think one of the most important things that sociology students can contribute um, to the workplace is their research skills, but those do not need to be necessarily limited to just doing academic research, because research skills such as interview skills or quantitative analysis, statistical analysis, they can be applied anywhere. So you can do marketing, you can be in private, uh, sphere or you can you know do journalism or teach as well so yeah a variety of things. Why study sociology? It's a good question um, I think if you're looking at this from the perspective of Kazakhstan and you're a Kazakhstani student and you're thinking about why study sociology or if you just look around you wherever you are in Kazakhstan, you're probably going to be seeing immense change in your societies. And you can think about this very simply. I mean, you might see it in the built environment, like cities like Astana, Nur Sultan growing, developing. But if you just think about it in your own personal life, if you have thought about your own ideas, beliefs, norms, the way that you live your life, the fashion that you wear, uh, the music you listen to, and you compared that with maybe people living in other parts of Kazakhstan. Maybe compare it with your parents or your grandparents. Maybe compare it with people who live in other parts of the world. And you might think, well, things are different in different places. Uh, and they're also different over time. And the idea of sociology is to try to understand that, to try to understand that process by which change occurs, processes occur within our societies, which impact our own individual lives. So think about things like you know, people's attitude to something like religion, sex, gender, fashion, uh, democracy. Um, sociologists are interested in finding out what people really do think, what their attitudes are to those types of things and how those things change over time and how they then interrelate with other aspects of our lives, whether it's political systems or just our social lives, our cultural lives. 
um, and how people think about those things, like the meaning they ascribe to different um, aspects of their lives. All of these things are sociological questions. If you're living in a country like Kazakhstan, which is marked by really quick, rapid change, um, in all aspects, whether it's again like religion, marriage, family, um, sociologists are interested in analysing and understanding those processes of change. And of course, knowing and understanding and analysing and thinking about those things can be very useful for future careers, whether it's in politics, in journalism, in policy, in uh, the civil society sector, NGOs. Um, for those reasons, you know, I encourage people to study sociology and I would welcome anyone who wanted to study sociology.